Hello and welcome to our video on air pollution. We are air quality consultants here at AECOM. We will be introducing you to this environmental issue. Along with two fun experiments to check air quality around your house, and what you can do to help tackle this problem. What is air pollution? Air pollution is when unwanted chemicals, gases and particles enter the air and the atmosphere. It is harmful to people, animals and our planet. Now let's look at some sources of air pollution, such as industry and energy supply, transport such as cars, vans, lorries, and aeroplanes. Burning of waste and coal also releases harmful gases, like carbon dioxide. Do you know who is most affected by poor air quality? Have a guess. It affects children, as their lungs and other organs are not fully developed which puts them at risk of diseases like pneumonia. Also, women, who work in smoky kitchens, are exposed to high levels of harmful gases. And, people who work outdoors breathe in harmful gases for a longer time, which increases the risk of respiratory diseases like asthma and lung cancer. Now that you know the impacts of air pollution, let's look at some solutions. To reduce air pollution, you can change your travel options. Driving increases pollution through combustion products or brake and tire wear. By taking public transport such as trains or buses we can reduce the number of cars on the road. If your journey distance is short, try cycling or walking which is good for your physical and mental health. Now let's start experiment 1. To check the air quality around your house, you will need two plastic plates, some thread, petroleum jelly, like Vaseline, and a pair of scissors. Get an adult to help you with the scissors. Step 1. Create two small holes on your plate. Step 2. Cut a piece of thread, insert this through the holes on the plate and tie it up. Step 3. Take some petroleum jelly and spread it on the middle of the plate. This will help to catch the particles in the air. Your particle catcher plate is now ready. Repeat the process to create your second particle catcher. Decide where you want to hang your plates. Hang your first plate inside your house, either in the kitchen or the living room. Hang your second plate outside your house where cars drive by frequently, or where you suspect the air quality to be bad. Next, leave your plates for a week so that they have enough time to catch the particles in the air. After one week, collect your plates and examine them. Can you see the particles stuck on the plates? Compare them to see which one caught the most particles. Invite your friends to do the same experiment. You can share pictures of your particle catcher plates with your friends and compare the results. Now that we know that particles are present in the air, even though we cannot see them, how do we clean the air? Industries, which produce a lot of pollutants, use different filtering methods to clean their air, such as, using ions, UV lamp, activated carbon filter or electrostatic filter. Today, we will be looking at how the electrostatic filter works, and you can carry out your own experiment to understand this process. Firstly, polluted air from the factory enters the electrostatic precipitator system. Secondly, the pollutants get a negative charge when they pass through the negatively charged plates, which makes the pollutants stick to the positively charged metal collection plates. When these collection plates are discharged, the pollutants fall into the hoppers below and clean air is released. Let's find out how the electrostatic filter works. For this experiment you will need a balloon, a blank piece of paper and some ground black pepper. Step 1, sprinkle some black pepper on the paper. Step 2, blow up the balloon and tie it up. Step 3, rub the balloon over a woolen fabric or your hair to create some static electricity. Hold your balloon over the paper and see what happens. The black pepper will stick to the balloon because of electrostatic energy. This is how the, the particles stick to the metal collection plates as shown earlier. Air quality consultants like ourselves work hard to make sure the air we breathe is safe for everyone. If you would like to know more about our company then visit our website shown below. Thank you for watching.